Today we're talking bruschetta, the best thing around. Now take your bread, slice it up into half inch thick slices. You can use sourdough or French, but I say sourdough is the way to go. Now make sure that your bread is fresh. It will matter. Next step is to take your tomatoes and cut them into quarter inch thick cubes. Watch your fingers while slicing. Following that, make sure you salt up your tomato. It'll add a little extra flavor. Unless you're using heirloom tomatoes, which I will say is a lot better. Take a sweet bell pepper and start cutting that up into quarter inch cubes as well. This will go and add a whole lot of flavor. <laughs> now when I say generously, I mean generously oil your pan with plenty of olive oil. Set down each piece of bread and try to rotate it around, evenly coating each slice of bread. Now once it's all nice, brown, and crispy, you'll be looking good. Now, with any remaining oil, add your tomatoes, your peppers, and even some chopped garlic if you want, and begin to cook until each and every piece is nice and tender. Begin to season it up with whatever seasoning you desire, but I will say garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, and a little fresh ground black pepper. Way to go. Blend it all together, get to mixing. You can always take some of this mixture and put it into a glass mason jar, set it aside for sandwiches or whatever your heart desires. Make sure that you have some fresh basil chopped up, and then just sprinkle some of that on top of your mixture while it's still cooking. Now, take some brie cheese. It's completely optional, but I will say it does bring out a whole lot of flavor here, and put it on top of each piece of toast. Now, take your done toppings and put it on each piece. Put it on your nice hot pan on a very low heat with the lid on. Let that cheese melt. Sprinkle on some additional basil on top and then plate it on up. You will have a beautiful dish that can be served for breakfast, lunch, dinner, any time of day. And trust me, you feed this to someone, they will love you. Now don't forget to subscribe. There's many more dishes to come, and I'm sure you'll love it. But, wait, there's more. So you add just a little bit of balsamic glaze, just drizzled right on top. And, ugh, trust me. It is so delicious. My mouth is already starting to water. This is a beautiful dish. And people will enjoy it. And you will be wanting more. It's bona fide. Please subscribe for more.